So here at the Qualcomm booth, you're talking about the Internet of Everything. So what is the Internet of Everything? All right, so uh, Qualcomm is a hardware provider primarily, so we build Wi-Fi uh, chips for the IoT. What I'm showing off here is our 4002 uh, IoT uh, developer platform. It's based on a one-by-one -one Wi-Fi. Um, in this case, it's hosted with a Freescale, Freescale microcontroller. And then we also have a, uh, um, a reference design called the GT202. Yeah. And here we have partners that have built uh, the GT202 reference design based on their own microcontrollers. So this one is from Renaissance. Okay. It's paired with the RX111 microcontroller. So this is uh, what kind of microcontroller they have here? It's, uh, it's, it's their RX111 platform. Okay. So it's based on their own. And your Wi-Fi is over here? The Wi-Fi is over here. This is a 4002 from Qualcomm. And it's paired again with the Renaissance microcontroller. This is the Freescale Freedom Board. Um, again, GT202 is the reference design. Over here, it's paired with the Freescale microcontroller, K22. And this is the Qualcomm 4002 Wi-Fi chip over there. All right. And then again, another GT202 reference design, this time uh, with the ST Micro microcontroller. And again, paired with the 4002. So this 4002 is uh, is it what's special about it? So the, the good thing over here, this is a low power Wi-Fi. Very low power. Very low power, meant for embedded applications. It runs a real-time operating system, um, and again, it's a one by one Wi-Fi. So, so it goes in speakers? Uh, not for speakers, it's meant for more embedded applications, low power solutions. So for instance, it's used in this solution over here. Yeah which is a turnkey module for lighting that we co-developed with LifeX. So in this case, um, the 4002 is paired again with a Freescale microcontroller. Uh, we add a PWM to the board, and so now this particular board can power an LED lamp. So these lights over here actually have that board inside. So it's now a Wi-Fi LED lamp. Nice. So are these in the market? These are on the market today, sold by LifeX, correct. So when was uh, uh, this platform launched? So the 4002 is about a year and a half old, I think, almost two years old. And uh, the idea of the Internet of Everything is basically IoT, right? It's all about IoT, correct. And so IoT is about connectivity and interoperability. So Qualcomm is the, are the original creators of the all joint open source project, which is now part of the all Sing Alliance. And so what we do is we actually ship all join uh, natively on all of our IoT platforms as well. So there's all join, all join is like a platform to make it easy to work into it. It's, and, and it's essentially a connectivity framework so that allows the developers to not think about how their devices will be discovered or interacted with across the network. All join does that automatically for them. So it allows developers to basically focus on what they do best, which is build product. What are those speakers? So the speakers are, on, are part of the Qualcomm All Play yeah. um, system. So what we did is we took a, a Wi-Fi SoC and uh, we made a special purpose module for high bandwidth, high quality, low latency streaming of music over Wi-Fi. High bandwidth, low latency, and, and low power? Uh, not low power, high quality, um, high bandwidth, low latency. Okay. So with this system, you can have up to 10 stations, up to 10 speakers, all synchronized, uh, playing music. Uh, in some cases, you can have different music streaming to different speakers. What are the CPUs we are looking at there? What's the big one? So this is a MIPS-based uh, um, CPU. Qual Qualcomm MIPS. It's a Qualcomm MIPS-based product, correct. And um... so it ships with the proprietary AllPlay software on it. And so speaker manufacturers, like you see over here, we've got one from Hitachi, Panasonic, Monster. They take the module and they build their own speaker, their own branded speaker. But these can all interoperate with each other because they run all join and because all run from the, they run the same all play um, system. So all join, all play is for music. It's for all kinds of IoT data, right? All, all join is is for all types of use cases. All play is in particular for music. And we can try to all play to, to show how it works. Sure. So. Does it work with Spotify and with? It works uh, with Spotify. So if you look over here, those are all the um, uh, music services that incorporate all play as part of their product. And those are the speaker manufacturers that are building product today with uh, with the all play system. All right, and then uh, it just goes from uh, so over the local network. Yeah, so basically streams over Wi-Fi. You can also take Bluetooth as an input and then restream that Bluetooth over Wi-Fi. 
and you can also take analog in and restream that. All right. And so, so I can show you, um, I can start playing some music over here. Yeah. It'll stream automatically. Now, in this case, I'm streaming from this device to all three. Speakers. All three. So it's multi room? Multi room right now. I can go and um, change the grouping of the speakers. So I can take, the set, I can basically take the Hitachi and the Monster out of the group. And select so like which one is right, which one is left, so stuff now, like that? Um, well, now it's, it's going to play just to the Panasonic. And okay. I could essentially stream something different to those speakers if I, if I so choose. That's called party mode. Nice. Cool. So it's a very comprehensive system. All right. And, uh, and all these companies around here are showing a so bunch these, of... So these are all member companies of the All Scene Alliance. So they're all basically showing product that they've built on top of All Join. A lot of them actually using the Qualcomm Wi-Fi developer platforms as a base for their product. And what is this one? The... So the 4010 is our newest IOE developer yeah. platform. It's this board over here. What's different about this? Over here, this is a fully hostless solution. So this is the Wi-Fi chip. It also includes um, an MCU in it. Okay. And it's also upgraded to a 2x2 two two Wi-Fi. So what kind of MCU is inside? So it's a 10 silica core. Um, it comes with up to uh, 1.5 megabyte of RAM. It's about 800 kilobytes available for applications. Is it ARM Cortex something? It's not ARM based, okay. um, but it does you know, it does support a lot of different types of applications. So again, it's RTOS based. Uh, ThreadX is the operating system, and what we've added over here is support for a lot of different I/O. So it includes PWMs to drive motors and and uh, light bulbs, as well as all the other. You know, I/O that you would expect for a, for an IOE application. So people can order just this part, or the whole. Well, this is the development board, um, but you know, ultimately the finished product would include just that piece over there. Right. 